Taboo Conspiracy is one of the larger conspiracy channels and, like most other conspiracy YouTubers, is a flat earther. In the video today, he seems to think he has definitive proof that the earth is flat. He's going to try to attempt to convert us all, using the same smug way that all flat earthers do. This particular video features the king of F.E. smugness, Gymnasium. Enjoy. Hello everyone. This video is going to repeat a lot of things I've already said on my channel. But it seems that many of the new people investigating our flat earth reality are unaware of the lies going around about the flat earth and that, that there are actually globe propagandists out there trying to deceive you. I think even the honest flat earth skeptic would have to agree with everything I'm going to present here today. There is no propagandist out there. There is no deception. And the other astronaut is wearing a standard spacesuit. These are some examples of scuba suits. As you can see, they are quite different from the EMU suits worn by astronauts. They are very, very different. Not even 30 seconds in, and you're already displaying ignorance. I think that might be a new record. Back in 2015, when I began my Flat Earth investigation, I started a debate on a fringe online forum where I genuinely asked everyone on the forum to present their best evidence for and against the flat earth. I was not a flat earther, but I figured that a peaceful Socratic debate was the ideal way to discover the truth. You really expect us to believe that a non-flat earther would go to a forum and ask about the flat earth in a non-ironic way? But let's have some fun. Let's answer these questions. Okay, so number one. Oh, I'm, I'm not reading them out. Numerous experiments on land and water have proven this math to be accurate time and time again. Once again, I refer you to Walter Bislin's blog. Here's a demo. It shows everything you could ever need. And Walter's blog even contains the source code for it. I'm going to let this run in the background while answering the other questions, as it's quite long. Number two, I've already answered, but I'll do it again. Space isn't a vacuum like you clean your house with. It simply means there is nothing there but a few hydrogen atoms here and there. Oh, and the odd exotic particle now and again. Technically, Earth's atmosphere continues out past the moon, but that's too complex for me to explain to a person that can't even grasp our next question, water. The oceans aren't level due to something causing the tides. Oh, what is it? It's on the tip of my tongue. Gravity, you fucking retard. Gravity. Have you ever heard of fucking gravity? Gravity. Gravity. Thanks, Desert File. I almost forgot. Also, Water can curve. Number four again shows you have no idea how big the Earth actually is compared to your tiny, tiny size. Number five. Well, sorry, this is dragging on a bit. Anyway, surveyors do have to account for the curvature. Wow, did you do any research into these questions? Number six. The sun and the moon only appear the same size in the sky from Earth. The moon doesn't emit light at all, it reflects it. And crepuscular rays only occur during sunset. Number seven, if you can't even understand how big the Earth is, then you'll be totally lost at the size of the galaxy and how the whole thing moves. Number eight, I've left a link in the description below to Five Red Pairs video on this, as he did a much better job than I can explain quickly. Number nine, 
same shit with movement. Earth big, you small. And number 10, yes, photos from space are made of composites, and yes, they are edited to make them look more natural, as people don't want to see a dull blue ball. Okay, questions answered. Let's move on. And it was for me, as I discovered, to my chagrin and many sleepless nights, that the Earth was indeed flat and stationary. Okay, so I was right. You did zero research, or only found the answers you wanted, and ignored all those pesky facts. It took me many months of investigation and testing before I would call myself a flat earther, as I certainly did not want to accept it. Yeah, I'm going to have to call bullshit here. If you didn't want to accept it, then why didn't you do proper research? The entire online debate that I initiated, and thousands of pages of arguments, were eventually shut down by the website as more and more people started seeing how powerful the flat earth argument was. Really? Okay, sure. It's nearly two and a half thousand pages long. But it was shut down due to arguments. Did you really think we wouldn't look into this? But as part of that debate, I was presented this video from Red's Rhetoric. Actually, it was a longer observational video of a sailboat supposedly disappearing behind the curvature. This is a shortened version. And this video is still listed by Red's Rhetoric as proof of the curvature. There are a lot of videos proving the curvature. This one is just a particularly clear one. I remember this video well because it had a huge psychological impact on me as the Globe proponents were very excited about it. Not excited. The, as you say, Globe proponents, who I seem to call normal people, don't actually give a shit. It's not like there's a meeting and someone stands up and says, Wow, oh, we fucking got him now, fellas. According to them, this observational video should have ended the flat earth debate. I actually thought the globe proponents were right at first glance. But I watched the video carefully, and I noticed something was wrong with the claim, as the far distant birds were mirroring themselves and disappearing higher than what appeared to be the horizon line. Oh, not this again. It's an optical illusion. I get the feeling you already know that, and are gonna reference something showing another optical illusion. Geranism later made a terrific video on the subject. Geranium has never made a terrific video. This is still one of my favorite Flat Earth videos ever made because of its impact on me. Here's a short clip of Jaren's video, and I'll have a link in the description to the full video so you can head over to Jaronism's channel and watch it later. Now here I put a little arrow, and if you watch carefully, right at that line, you will see clearly the waves of water as they run by the boat, and you can see the reflection of the left sail in the water. Is it just me, or do all flat earthers sound the same? Anyway... No, you can't see the waves on the boat, nor can you see the reflection in the water. At that zoom, the distance waves wouldn't even be a pixel in height. The shimmering you see is refraction. Moving on. That's not the boat. That is a reflection. Just like in this image here of the sunset, that is not the sun melting into the water. That is the actual water. <laughs> Wait. Do you flirters actually think that the globe requires the sun to go into the ocean? Oh boy, you got bigger issues than I thought. But again, it's not a reflection, it's refraction. They sound the same, they are not the same. Kind of reminds you of this image here. Holy crap, that guy's coming out of the ground. He must be a spawn of hell. Quick, call the Pope. This gentleman walking on a mirage street. And obviously, the bottom of his body has been eaten up. And that is what's happening on the ocean when we look at boats. Ah, oh, so you do know what a mirage is. Only when you think it fits your narrative. I think I'll have to do a full video on Jerusalem. So the bottom of the boat has been eaten up. Here you can look underneath that right sail. Uh, there's nothing there. Whereas the actual boat, which I superimposed, had different sections of the boat there. At this point... It looks like only the sail is visible. Kick ass. Yeah, Red. 
kick ass. See, if you really were all about science, you'd conduct non-biased tests, not ones with a clear motive to prove current known facts. <laughs> oh, that's fresh. Facts don't need proving. They're just facts. See, I'm challenging those facts, and well, I just knocked one of them off its perch. No, you didn't. I want TC back. Ah, <sighs> Jeremy M is too smug about being wrong. Now, to any reasonable, objective, truthful person, Jaren destroyed Red's rhetoric's claim that the boat was disappearing over the curvature. Oh, I must have missed that part. Let me go back over it. Don't worry, folks, I won't drag you with me. Nope, Jerusalem didn't destroy anything other than a few of my brain cells. It's quite fascinating, but mirages swallow distant objects from the bottom up. The bottom of the boat did not go over any imaginary curvature. Without question, the bottom of the boat disappeared into a mirage, and the rest of the boat faded into the atmosphere. So the boat split in half? Wait, didn't I do a video on this a while back? Yeah, I did. When I debunked that level-headed guy. Go watch that one after this one. It's not even debatable, as you can clearly see the Mirage line. Like, now. Because I'm going to have to take a break from TC2 for now. I think I've flooded you guys with enough facts, but we'll pick this up again another time. When we'll all be converted to Flat Earthers. I'm sure of it this time. Thank you all so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the answers at the very least. As always, a special thanks to Purple Haze and Ghostface for their support, as well as my NASA overlords who aid me in keeping the world blind to the truth. You can show your support simply by liking and subscribing. There's also the usual shill things like Patreon and merch, but there's also the subreddit where you can submit your photoshopped images of the Earth for us to propagandize. Until next time, friends. Don't be a dick. Good night.